Simon from Roman Reporting and today I've got something really cool. It's called Letterbox Lab. And if you look at my Kidropolis video, I said that we'd do a video on it. So here it is. And it's a daily sub um, a monthly subscription and this one is the investigate box so let's see what's inside oh, oh, well we know we got that for start whoa what that'd be the gloves <gasps> Let's have a look and show it to this camera then. Right, hold on, that's a bit too close. Oh. What does it say? It says, Letterbox Lab, Intrepid Investigator, Level 1. Oh, awesome. Okay. Oh, we got some, I'll put pop leaves on. Put those over there. Got some scissors. Yeah, you have to careful those. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Liquid rainbow, okay. That sounds a bit weird. We'll put those on in a minute, shall uh -huh. we? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. It's not been doing experiments just yet. Some, what is this? I think they're going to be gloves. Oh, uh huh. Four tied up gloves. What are these? Test tubes. This is like a test tube measuring. Yep. Mm -hmm. Measuring test tube. A five squirmy worms. Five squirmy worms. And four breathless balloons. Breathless balloon, four of those. Oh, here's some gloves. Oh, some more gloves. Oh, blimey. Loads of gloves. Wow. Oh, and a pencil a that pencil? says ah. this book slab. Which is important, because what would you need a pencil for? To test. To so write down results, I reckon. Oh, yeah, because there's some... Um, Things that we might learn. Some cards. One incredible ink. Incredible inks, okay. Ooh, some card pop outs. I think there's pack uh -huh. one, pack two, I don't think it's two of. So pack one is incredible inks. Pack two is a rainbow glasses stroke rainbow spinners. And I've got three liquid rainbow. Number three is liquid rainbow. And the marvellous mixtures. So in here mm -hmm. is um, so marvellous mixtures. So this is yep. box one, mm -hmm. first investigative box, and um, from this box lab. And in here is all the, the experiments that are included in the box. Mm -hmm. So the idea behind this is um, to do science experiments. You don't always have all the things around the house. So in the box comes everything you need for the experiments, apart from water mm -hmm. and things like that. And things that you can eat around spoon. the house. A wooden spoon, and stuff like mm -hmm. that. Stuff that you'd have. Around the house normally, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Hope you like my badge. Okay. Professor Roman, mad scientist. Mm hmm Mad's pretty right. I wrote it myself. Okay. So if you put the glasses on mm -hmm. there. Safety first. Um and then if you see it's what time. the first Can you tighten them up. Can we tighten them up for you a bit? Yeah. Okay. A bit big. Let's put them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Marvellous. Okay. So oh, put these around scissors. scissors, so... Around scissors. Still must be careful with those. Mm -hmm. So let's have a look at what the first experiment's going to be. Um, so it's got lots of important safety information. Always very careful. Let's run through some of the safety rules quickly. Uh, read these instructions before you use. Follow them and keep to them. Keep them for reference. Keep young children, animals, and those not wearing eye protection away from the experimental area. Mm. Um, oh. Daddy will borrow these glasses because I'm nearby. Uh, always wear eye protection when directed. So when it tells you wear them, you have to wear oh. them. Oh, these? Right. Do I yep. have to wear these? Uh, the the eye protection. Oh. Store this experimental set. Box out of the reach of children under eight years of age. Clean all experiment after use. Make sure all containers are fully closed and properly stored after use. 
Ensure that all empty containers are disposed of properly. Wash hands after carrying out experiments. Do not use any equipment which has not been supplied with the set or recommended in instructions for use. Do not eat or drink in the experimental area. Do not allow chemicals to come into contact with your eyes or mouth. Or you just pop in there. Oh, my badge. Your badge. Uh -huh. Do you want to put it on? Okay. I hope you know. In use. If use of additional foodstuffs is suggested, do not replace foodstuffs in the original container, dispose of them immediately. Do you want me to help you put that on? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what we do, I just pop these out of the way. Yep. And then it's just easier. Mm-hmm. Take up more space. Uh, and keep our space. And then once we get to the experiment, mm -hmm. we know what we're doing. Hey, the, that's on my... Badge. In your badge. Mm -hmm. Right, let's put that on then. Because you're level one. Yeah. Interpret investigator. There we go. Level one. Very important. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't stay up. Well, be heavy for that pocket. So. Right, that would do for that. Mm -hmm. So, first experiment. Let's go to the first experiment. Right, welcome to Letterbox Lab. What's in the box? Pack one is incredible inks, two, which is rainbow glasses, three rainbow spinners. Wait, there's rainbow glasses? Rainbow glasses, rainbow oh. spinners. Uh, there's a liquid rainbow, brilliant breathless balloon, and squirmy worms. Yours to keep, which are the safety goggles, the scissors, the petri dish. I didn't see a petri dish. Maybe it's in one of the maybe packages. Maybe it's in one of the packages. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll, we'll open those up in a minute. Uh, rainbow glasses, a spinner, and a measuring cylinder. Hold on to these items as you may need them again for activities in later boxes. So each month it'll add on and you, and you build up your own mm -hmm. um, special lab, which is really cool. So first thing I'm going to start off with is Incredible Inks. For this we will need some felt tip pens, uh, chromograph paper, there's more in the box, uh, petri dish, coloured sweets, so we see if we can find some coloured sweets, two bottles of salt, that'd be interesting, uh, a drop, drop of tips for bottles, so I imagine it's all in there. Uh, from the box we're going to need the scissors, and also we're going to need some water with us. So what we're going to do, we're going to go away, we're going to collect up all mm -hmm. the items that we need um, and then we'll start this experiment and show you the experiment. Wait, should we open all these packages? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. open the packages. I'll start opening. So let's do it in order then. Okay, look, this is number one. So incredible links, because uh -huh. we're going to be starting with that anyway. Yeah. So I reckon it's in all of the um, experiments. Don't you? So let's open this one up. So this should be everything we need. Comes in really cool paper. Look at this paper. Yeah. Look, it's like dinosaur volcanoes pops. Yeah. Oh. It's really cool paper, isn't it? Look at that. That's okay. awesome. Oh, we've got some the petri tips, dish. Huh? Oh, we've got some toxic pens. So this should be everything we need for this experiment. Oh. Look at that. That's awesome. Oh, look. Smarties. It says we only need two, didn't it? No, no, we need those. So, actually, so all I need to go get for you... It says don't so, eat me! Yeah, don't eat them. They're Why? for the experiment. The, the, you said only two. <laughs> no, we will need them all. Uh, coloured sweets, four of, there are four of those. Oh. Don't eat them. And we've got some paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so all Dad needs to go get, and well, we need your scissors. Uh -huh. You need scissors. Um, is some water. Mm -hmm. So I'll go get some water and then we'll get on with some this Some salt. Oh. Do I need some salt? Or is there some, oh, there's some salt in there already done. Oh. Okay, back, back in one minute. Okay, so back mm -hmm. up, we've got our water. So everything mm -hmm. came in the box that we've required. We just need to add some water. Um, so we've just gone through, there's a safety checklist. Um, Romy's wearing protective clothing to protect his clothes. He's got his mad scientist shirt on. Um, and he's read the safety notes, so we're ready to start the mm -hmm. experiment. So we just need to add water to the um, salt bottles. So I will do that because it can be quite tricky. Am I doing it the right way? Okay, what am I doing? Where's that little jug thing? 
But you didn't say to. No, no, but it'd be easier. Okay. Um, so you need to put water in there. Water in that one. Insert the dropper tip like that. If I took this out of water, you can put it in. Okay, hold on. I'm going to help you. It's got a special lid on it to stop small children opening it. Okay? So I'm going to put your water there and you can pour that. You can do one. Okay. So this has got a special thing to so that. Small children aren't able to open it, it needs a grown up. To do what, that? Yep, to open it up. Oops. Oop. Getting salt everywhere. Right. So, very carefully, pull the water into the into that. Very careful, because this is sodium, sodium chloride, which is table salt. So nice and carefully. Nice and gently. Oh. Oh, gently, Roman. I'm going to put it in there. Or have you chucked it all on the table? I was going to top that up a little bit. Whoops. Yeah. Um, it's okay. Okay. It's only water and we can clean up the experiment after. Mm-hmm. Bag green. Actually, do you want to go grab some mm -hmm. tissue? I'll stop it. Okay, so we've cleaned up mm -hmm. the water off the table. So the next thing we've got to do is put the lids back on the top. <laughs> so if you do one and I do one. Screw them up so they can't go any tighter. You have to give them I a shake. I can't do that. No, you got it. Just it's not obvious. Oh. I've got to try and help dissolve the water, uh, the salt in the water. The salt can, water can... Dissolve the salt, yep. So it gets rid of the salt. Mm -hmm. But it'll make a it makes salty water, doesn't it? Salt water from yeah. the sea. It's a bit like that. Yeah. So it feels a bit cold. Yeah, because I we put cold water in there. Yeah. Okay. So we've done that. The next thing, put some of the salty water into the petri dish. Which one? Do, do it on the thicker one. Okay. Okay. You only need one. Oh, do can one you? One. Does it tell you which one? Doesn't matter. They're both okay. the same. Let me get the lid off for you. Okay. Just one drop. Um, just a little bit. Don't need a huge amount. Right, careful. That. <laughs> I think quite a few drops. Ah! Oh! That's quite cool, isn't it? Right, don't it. Do. Leave that alone. So we'll see how we get on with that. We'll see if that's enough. Whoa, that's cool. Right, to get a strip of the special chromography paper, paper and draw a big black line about two centimetres from the bottom using the black pen. Okay, black pen. About two centimetres, probably about, about there. Okay. Here? Yeah. There. No, across. Oh, oops. You can do it from the other end if you want. Do the other end. So Not we... here. No, what do you? There you go. In a straight line across, about two centimetres up. That's it. Okay? Now carefully dip the end of the paper into the water without getting the line wet. That's it. Hold the paper up, keeping it in the water, and wait and watch what happens. Is there anything happening? No. Oh, yeah, mm hmm. I'll just keep it there for a bit. Describe to the camera what's happening. Okay, so right now there's a bit of blue. Let me see if I can get the camera up and we'll move it around. Hold on, everybody. Oh. So let's get into that experiment, have a look. What can you see? It's splitting off, isn't it? It's going mm -hmm. blue. How can we see any other colours in there? Oh, purple. Purple, okay. And black. Purple and black. So we've got 
three different colours, aren't we? Okay. Can we take that out? Yep, might as well take that out now. Keep that aside. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we need to do some recording. Okay. okay. Of looking here. So we'll just get this round. So here we see. How many colours can you see in the black ink? And then what we need to do is just record the results here in the, in the thing. Oh, here. There's, there's, there's a mark here. Okay. So black is three. Do I write three? How many colours did you see? Three. Here's the paper to help you remind you. Three. Three. Okay, awesome. Wait, we do need that. We do need that. Okay. And then we, do we do the same? Wait, hold on. Yeah, so you need to do the other colours. What other colours have we got there? Purple and yellow. Purple and yellow. So about here? What do you say? Yeah, about that. Need to add some water, we can do that. Let's see if we can um if I can zoom in right. Do you want me to turn it around? Yeah. You might need some more water in there, might we? Mm-hmm, because the other card took yeah, absorbed all the water. I need to do that. Should I take it out? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh. Pink and purple so far. Got pink and purple. A bit of blue. And a bit of blue. I don't think it's going to change you more, is it? Yep. So how many colours can you see? Three. Three colours. So make sure we record that in our results. So colour yep. in the dot, so we know what colour it was. Excellent. That's it. Well done. Just do a yellow dot there. That's it. About here? A bit lower. Here? Yeah, go for it. Can't quite see. Hmm. Yeah, that should be it. Okay. Turn around a bit. Trying to get to it. Hmm. No colours. No colours. So just one colour. Should we do it for a bit more longer? I'd say there's probably two because it's like orange, you know, light yellow. Yellow. Too. No, no, don't oh, lay it right in. Oh. No. Yeah, it up there. it's two. Okay. Mhm. Mm two. Two. Excellent. So we'll keep those aside. So that's it. That's experiment number one. On to the next part well, of the experiment. It's not next. It's well, a continue, continuing of the experiment. Mm -hmm. Experiment one. So now try this. Put a few drops of water into an empty peach okay. dish. So we've got the clean peach dish that we hadn't used yet. Put some water in there. 
put some water in. Need to say a few cups. Dad, please. Kef. Okay. I'll put a bit too much yeah. in there. Okay. Then it says carefully place a sweet. Where does it say to put it? A few minutes and then turn it over. So wait a couple of minutes and we'll see what happens. You didn't see anything happening yet? <laughs> what's happening? Tell us what's happening. All the um, icing is coming off, the smarty, and all the dye is coming off into the water. Excellent. So the water's turning the colour of the sweet, isn't it? Mm -hmm. That's really interesting. Should we turn it over? Yeah, give it a turn over then. It's already started to crack. Hmm. So Daddy still probably put just a bit too much water in there. We only probably need a few drops. Only a small amount. But that's fine. Should we take it out? Yep. Just um, put it on the side for Can me. Can I eat it? No, don't eat it. It's just been it. in the water. No, no. Okay. Must not eat the experiments. Oh, um, where do I Just put it? Just leave it on the side for now. Okay. Um, get one of the um, bits of paper. I can't. Okay. Then get a tissue. Then dip that piece of paper in there. Okay. And see what happens. What's happening? Tell us. It's what's turning happening. pink. Or you can kind of see through it. So the colour's starting to get soaked up into Ooh. the paper, isn't it? Mm-hmm. When you take it out, you can't see it. Mm hmm Okay, do it there for a bit then. I think it's because Dad put too much water in there. But that's super cool. Okay. Let's line it up. Oh, look. It did work on the bottom. Did it? Oh, yes. So that's it. So there we go. Let's see if I can get that in focus. So there goes slightly pink there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so the next thing we've got mm -hmm. to do is draw some shapes, cut them out with your scissors that you've given. Okay, move these out of the way, so I don't get your experiment messy. And so cut some shapes from the paper that's bigger than your petri dish, which is this one. Draw some patterns on the paper using your felt tip pens. You should try stripes, spots, circles, spirals, and whatever you like to draw. Okay? Made your shapes. Mm -hmm. Cut them out. A little bit or? So what you need to do mm -hmm. is get your shape that you've made and then just drop a couple of bits on it. That's cool. All of the colours are blending. Yeah, that's awesome isn't it? Yeah. Should we take that one out? Yep. We'll look at that one afterwards and then just, yeah, that's it. And then take the other ones, and then we'll see what happens with the different patterns. And what happens? 
Whoa. This camera set at the top. Let's take that one out. Whoa. That's super cool. This is the last one. Oh, spooked a bit. The plate. That's fine. That's what the plate's there for. Okay. That's kind of like quick of that. Wait, they can leak on the table. That's fine, don't worry. Cool. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So the fun experiments. Have you got a favourite one? Mm-hmm. Uh, which one's that? The star. The star, yeah. And the circle. Why's that? What's what's particularly good about them? Yes, yeah, so because they've got lots of colours onto them and they spread out really good and yeah. Awesome. Okay, Rem, well that was a really fun experiment, mm -hmm. wasn't it? So um, so we've come to the end of that experiment, and it says incredible inks. What did we discover? What did we discover about that experiment, Rana? Um What did we learn? What did we learn about the black pen? We learned that it includes lots of colours to make the Pacific colour. Yeah, need. so it needs more than one colour to make a black colour. So that's really Three interesting, colors. isn't it? So, mm -hmm. yeah, we've, um, so that was interesting, wasn't it? And how did we investigate? How did we find out that there was more than one colour? We dipped um, the pen chromography paper, in. didn't mm -hmm. we? Yeah, so we drew a line, put the chromography paper, and it sucks up the water, and the water moves up the paper, and it sticks to the ink and carries it along. Mm -hmm. it carries it up. Because as we saw, it was started one colour, then it moved to a different colour, and then to a colour at the top, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? This method for splitting mixtures is called chromography. Scientists use chromography to investigate all sorts of mixtures, one use is finding antibiotics to treat diseases. That's interesting, isn't it? Chromography doesn't always use salty water, and you may have something else in the house you can ask. Ask a grown-up to help you repeat your experiment using nail varnish remover. What did you discover? You might be surprised. So we have to talk to Mummy mm -hmm. about using her varnish remover, and then uh -huh. we'll see what happens. What do you think might happen? We've used varnish remover. I think you could do a better job. You think do a better job? Mm -hmm. So we'll have to do that in, uh, investigation and show you later. Right then, so... Um, on to the next one. On to the next one? Hold Rainbow on. glasses. Right. We have... I don't have. Different grating lenses. So let's have a read of that. Ah, oh, diffraction grating lenses. Got some eight glue dots. Some glue dots. That'd be hard to see, I reckon, on the uh, mm -hmm. camera, but we've got some glue dots. Some glasses. Ah, oh, the frames. Mm -hmm. But you haven't seen what's on them yet. Letterbox Lab. Do not wear these glasses whilst walking. <laughs> okay. Okay. So we've got the frame and then we've got an under bit. And a spinner. And a spinner. And we've got a spinner. So I don't think we'll be able to show that one on camera because that would be really pick up, hard to pick up, I reckon. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. We'll have a look and we'll see. Because um, it usually uses your eyes. So, so this is to make rainbow glasses. So you will need, from the box, your scissors, which you've got. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, your glass frames. 
So this is the main bit, the back bit, the diffraction grating lenses, and your glue dots. So it's safety checklist. Do not look at the sun or walk around whilst wearing the glasses. The sun's rays can damage your eyes and can't see very well when you have the glasses on. The glasses are intended for performing experiments. Do not wear for prolonged periods of time. So if you can tick the box to say that you understand that. Do you understand that, Roman? Mm -hmm. So we mustn't look in the sun and we mustn't wear it for long times. It's only for the experiment. You might as well take those goggles off. Wait, do I have marks on? Yeah, that's okay. Oh. Okay. Those are going to get all hot and steamy. Oh. Okay, so find the cardboard glasses, which we've got. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, if you want, you could colour it in if you want. Afterwards, you can do a yeah. design. Yeah. So you could do that afterwards. So flip it over and transfer four dots from the backing sheet as shown. So can you see? Mm -hmm. So each side of the holes on there, put some glue dots. Can you, do you reckon you can give that a go? Each hole? So one there, one there, one there, one okay. there. Yeah? How do you get it off? So. One there. Well, definitely glue dots, aren't they? Oh. Try and keep it close ish to the edge. One there. That's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then you've got to cut the diffracting lenses, diffracting, diffraction grating into two rectangles mm -hmm. and stick them onto the glue dots. Let's see if we can get this out. Sounds like they've already been cut for you, to be honest. Mm. The other one in here is already cut. So they're really big cuts, so we don't need to cut them. Handy. Yep. So stick those onto the glue dots. Clear the hole. Oh, there's still a bit of yep. glue inside. That's fine, but, that's um... why I said. Try and keep them close to the edge. That's right, because the bit's going on the top. Mm. So the next thing we've got to do is four more glue dots in the corners of here, okay? Okay. The four corners. So there, 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 and there. Can I try to take one off? Yep, they're very sticky, but give it a go. Okay. If you need my help, you let me know. Yep, these are definitely glue dots. <sighs> Put one off. And you give a bit of a roll between your finger and thumb. It makes a round dot then, doesn't it? Thank you. On top of it. Yeah, on the on the yeah top of the thing in the four corners. That's it. One there, mm -hmm. one there, and then there. so I get this one ready, and then you do the last stop. Okay. Okay. I'll let you get that one. Okay. Awesome. Got it? Mm -hmm. And then put that on top over the glue dots. Not that way around. Yeah. With the writing on the top. Okay. So you can remind yourself not to wear them at all times. That's it. And then press it down. And you had some that kind of hang over there as well, didn't you? Then put them up. Put them on. Look at the uh, camera lights. Describe it to us. What's it look like? A rainbow. A rainbow around the lights, yeah? Anyway, you see lights, they look like rainbows, do they? So that's kind of cool. 
Shall we see if we can see anything with the uh, the lens? Let's see if this works. I doubt it will. Does it work? Yep, I can see. So we. Yep. Need a big space for this. So, what that's doing is diffracting the light, and it splits the light up mm -hmm. in its in its colours like the rainbow. I think yeah. we did that when we went to Legoland. Legoland, yeah, the that's right. When we went to the fireworks, you could huh? see bits of bricks uh -huh. on the outside. So it's a very mm -hmm. similar thing. Yeah, it's diffracting the light to make them look like bricks. Which was amazing, wasn't it? Mm hmm Okay. So. And then you can then colour that in and design it as you wish. So rainbow glasses. What did you discover about the glasses, Ryan? Um, I discovered that... What was this thing called again? The diffracting. When you put them on and the light reflects onto it. Diffraction grating. It, make, it splits the colours. Mm-hmm. And it you see the light up into, its colours, into the colours of the rainbow. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it? The seven colours. So it's like seeing lots of mm -hmm. rainbows. But that's really cool. So when you wear the glasses, you can see that what we call white light is actually a mixture of all the colours of the I rainbow. I knew it. Yep. I learned that from school, yeah. in fact. The glasses are made of using diffracting grating. This is a material that contains lots of tiny grooves that make different colour lights shoot off in different directions. Because light travels at different speeds, mm -hmm. and that's why uh -huh. when you put it through a diffracting thing, it changes the speed of the light and then splits it up. And that's why mm -hmm. it happens. And it is the fastest thing in the universe, so... Ah. These colours are all mixed up in white light, travelling in the same direction towards your eye. But when they bypass through the glasses, they're split up, and you see them as tiny rainbows. Hold a minute, I thought we already discovered that black is all the colours mixed together. So black and white... Mm -hmm. That's interesting, isn't it? Black is a mixture of all the colours of ink, but white is a mixture of all the colours of light. So black have lots of different colours, mm. but black is colour. So that's why they're both made up of lots of colours, but one mm -hmm. is for colour and one is of light. So that's really interesting, isn't it? Different materials soak up some colours and bounce other colours back to our eyes. Red ink bounces red light to our eyes, but soaks up all the other colours. When we mix all the ink colours together, all the different colours of the light get soaked up and nothing is bounced back. So, when we see black, we're actually seeing no light at all. Black isn't really a colour at all. Black is what, what's left when all the colours have been soaked up. So that's really interesting, mm -hmm. isn't it? There we go. So, I think we'll stop there. There's some more experiments. Yep. Um, so, tune in next week mm -hmm. and we're going to move on to Rainbow Spinners. And we're going to do liquid rainbow. Okay, so tune in next week. Come see more about what this investigated box mm -hmm. is. Um, we'll put um, a description um, to the link to the website so you can go find out about it. And if you want to subscribe to it, mm -hmm. it's lots of fun, isn't it? Did you like it? Yeah. Was well, that really good? You've been mm -hmm. really looking forward to doing mm -hmm. this, haven't you? So, um, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Um, but actually, there were two different types because I think... This one was for 8 and over, and then they had a different box, which was for younger children, which is 8 and under. So they were coming with different... Mm -hmm. Please give us comments down below. Please subscribe. Put the thumbs down button in the bin.